The city of Chico approved five permits for pot manufacturing and distribution. Now there are two along Cohasset Road, uh, one on uh, West 8th Street, uh, one down here. There's the West 8th Street, also Silver Dollar, and then up here at Silver Bell Road on the north end of town, which is where we find Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum. So Ryan, what happens next? Yes, the businesses just have to accept the rules to be able to open and move in. These rules include uh, making sure that they keep the odor down so people outside do not know the odor and also keeping the secrecy of the business so people don't know what is going on inside. Many people that are living in this area tell me that they're actually happy to be able to see these distribution centers moving into the city. Um, I don't think there'll be any bad traffic because there won't be people off the streets going there and it's kind of like the traffic that Xfinity gets and your news station gets and stuff is not really felt by anybody here. You can't just walk into one of these centers and buy some pot. They're only for manufacturing and distributing to dispensaries. Even so, some people tell me they're a little concerned with the locations of some of the centers. I realize that theoretically there's not going to be a problem because this is only for distribution. Still, it's a little... It would seem that the location is just a little too central to a, a housing area. City manager Mark Orm says they spent several months working on the best places to put these centers. They all went through a thorough vetting uh, in accordance with maps that were designated. And so those maps being designated for certain uses took into account a, a variety of um, aspects of ensuring the safety uh, of the area. Despite the concerns, many are looking forward to the money the new businesses will bring into the city. I think it's great because um, it brings in profit and um, taxes from for the city. It's good. I mean, we're going to have it regardless. I think it's going to benefit. Um, you know, might as well keep and keep it local. You know, that way we have that that um, economic value to it. The city has been working on bringing these centers to Chico since late last year. Reporting live in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Ryan. Now, there will also be an increased security for each center location.